Thank you, recording in progress. Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, I've said that a lot of times on this call, but welcome to the May edition of the Breakthrough Reading Series. We're so happy we have people from all over the country joining us tonight and that's very exciting. We have a super show for you tonight. I'm gonna to kick it off to my co-producer, Melissa Bickerton, uh, for a moment to introduce our first uh, writer. Welcome all to our May BRS. And our first piece is Karma is a Bitch with Chrisel Almeida as the writer. Go ahead, Chrisel. And here was what we will do. We will first then have everyone turn off their video so we can bring it down to the actors in the piece. Right, if you're not an actor in the piece, hide your video for a moment. That is you too, Karen. Yep. <laughs> and that is you. Uh, um, all right, hang on. We will, if I hide you in, sorry guys, in the top right-hand corner, there are three buttons and that's how you hide yourself, Camille, uh, Lourdes. Do you want the, uh, the writer hidden while it's going on? I'm, I'm thinking yes, right? While it's going on, yes. Okay, yeah. Yes, it's turn video off. Turn. Hide self view or stop video, actually stop video. Right, stop video. Here we go. Thanks guys <laughs> for your patience as we work out these things. All right. Hi everyone, my name is Chrisel Almeida and um, I'm presenting a 10 pages from a pilot called Karma is a Bitch. It's a one hour TV dramedy and it tells the story of Karma who is an Indian American woman. She has a strong sense, sense of justice, doesn't like bullies and unfair kind of behavior. So she teams up with uh, some of her friends and neighbors to sort of form this group to take down the bad guys. It starts out um, that she's working as a bartender at a strip club where she runs into her old friend when she was from childhood, who's one of the dancers, Sophie. And uh, then she sees how unfair all the dancers are being treated and decides she wants to do something about it. It just so happens her sort of ex is the owner of the club. He's also the governor and he's a corrupt, horrible person. And so that's a little extra motivation for her to take them down. Along the way, she meets uh, Logan, who's her neighbor. He's the tech genius. Um, then Boots is the bouncer. He is kind of like her brawn and uh, you know the protection. And then her love interest will be Alex, who um, is her homeless neighbor, who then transforms. I won't give anything away. So hopefully you guys will be able to sort of understand what's going on in, in the middle of it. Um, but yeah, um, that's, that's it. So take it away, guys. Thank you. All right, Karma is a Bitch, written by Chriselle Almeida. Interior strip club, strip club break room, late night at closing. The club is opening up. Karma eats a cup of noodles with the other dancers while the other dancers change into their regular clothes. Opal, a very pregnant stripper, has her feet up. I could hardly do these heels when I wasn't pregnant. Take off your shoes or wear flats if it's a liability. Guys aren't looking at your feet. Guys are. Did the doctor say it's okay for you to still be dancing? Asking with concern, not judgment. I should have stopped last week technically, but it's not like I get paid maternity leave. This, this is crazy. How long have you worked here? Since I turned 20, so five years. I've never worked more than five months at any job. Wait, was that a jab? Far from it. I think you should be rewarded for your dedicated years of service. Karma gets up and walks towards the door. She pokes her head into the main club area and calls for the manager, Monty. Hey, Monty, get in here. We need to talk. Karma goes back into the break room. Okay, what are some other things that need to be changed? Talk to me, ladies. Natasha, another stripper, speaks up. Um, I think we should be tipping out the house less. How much do you give them a night? $200. Each? No way. That's too much. Monty walks in confused. What's going on here? 
these ladies are getting a shitty deal working here. That's what's going on. They bring in all the money, Monty. You know it. They should not have to pay you that much. Oh, yeah? And who do you think keeps the lights on in this club so guys can see your tits in the first place? I said that much. A total of 100 tip out from each girl is plenty. 75 to the house, 25 to boots as bouncer. I'll do the same. Oh, okay. Anything else? Mm, let's start small. We need a real kitchen. That's starting small. And you have a microwave. I'm just getting started. These ladies need all the perks of a regular job. Proper medical insurance, retirement. <laughs> oh, oh, you're being serious. Tell you what, if you really want all those benefits, why don't you go start a stripper's union? Karma pauses. Monty thinks he's won. All right, glad that's over. He walks out. Well, that was pointless. No. No, it wasn't. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Start only paying him $50 for tip out and not a dime more? Yes, that too. But like he said, I'm gonna help you guys start your own stripper union. There is a silence and then the girls erupt in laughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and what would be tax deductible? Our pasties? Yeah, probably. Look, ladies, I know how to do this, okay? I learned a lot on the campaign trail. So you're going to use the exact things you learned from working on Governor Chance Howard's campaign to bring him down? You need to stop saying bring him down, but yes. She steps into the center of the room. <sighs> Look, ladies, full disclosure. Chance was my ex, okay? Not officially. He suckered me into a one night stand, got me pregnant, and then ghosted me. And yes, I found out recently that he is indeed the owner of this club, but I want you all to know that I'm not taking up your case just to get revenge for myself. I am doing this for all of you because it's the right thing to do. And there are, there's other clubs. There are so many other women we can help. So think of this on a larger scale, big picture, if you will. All of us working together, we can make this a national thing. Women all over the country should get real benefits. Being a dancer is a hard job. It takes skill, endurance, patience. I see how hard you ladies work every day, this, this is your job. Lavender, a stripper in her 40s, speaks up. Yeah, for some, it's a career. <sighs> Lavender. Exactly. And even though you never get a business card or, or a promotion, you still show up on time. You dance your ass off, even if you have a bad knee. That's loyalty. And that should be rewarded. Who's with me? The ladies cheer and clap. <laughs> Woo! I think Chance was just jealous that you would have made a better governor. Your army increases. Boots has been listening and speaks suddenly. The ladies jump. Once you got Logan on board, I knew we were in business. You're the brain, I'm the brawn. Logan's the bot, and Sophie's the babe. What's the purpose of the babe? To be used as a distraction. So, like bait? Essential for fishing and hunting. Boots, I appreciate you coming on board. And yes, there should be a union for bouncers too. I'll look into it. I don't care about all of that. I just want to bring down the bad guys. I was bullied for being gay in Texas back in 1995. Bullies ran me out of the ranges and I never fought back. And I never forgave myself for being a coward then. But I told myself, not again, never again. The next time I cross paths with those that abuse power, pick on a group they see as weaker, I would not back down. It may have taken me a few years to find my cause, but I have one now. I'm all in, Karma. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I guess everyone's making this 
a thing. Oh, it's definitely a thing. Ooh, can we call ourselves Karma Club? Like Fight Club? No. <laughs> Exterior Karma's apartment a week later. Karma is lugging groceries back to her apartment from the bodega across the street. Alex, her homeless neighbor, is sitting on the steps of her building reading a newspaper. <sighs> hey, Alex. What's going on in the world? The demons are still winning. Yeah, well, we've decided to do something about it. Let me know if you want to join the Karma Army. So it's happening. The light workers are being awakened? <laughs> Dude, have you been talking to Logan about that shit? He thinks there's angels or something out there. No, no, look, they're not angels per se, okay? But they're, they're special beings that live in human bodies. And once they wake up and remember who they are, they, they activate their power. Uh, which, which is? To bring about real change in the world, to diminish the collective negativity, the pain, the sadness and, and shame that radiates around most people. Mm, okay. She starts to leave, then stops and turns around. Hey, Alex, I don't mean to offend you, but I, I just wanted to offer as a friend if you'd ever like to use my shower sometime, I wouldn't mind. Alex thinks uh, about it for what seems like an eternity. Uh, okay. Uh, what about what about now? Now. Um. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, let me just put these groceries away. Alex moves to help her carry the groceries. Cut to interior Karma's apartment about half an hour later. Karma paces outside the bathroom. She tries to clean up the apartment. Uh, hey, thanks for letting me use your razor and, um, and your scissors. And uh, that berry conditioner, mm, it's great. Keep it all. Alex pops his head out of the bathroom door. He is only wearing a towel. He has hey, showered, uh, shaved, cut his hair, and he is a full-on hottie. Hey, you think I could uh, use the laundry in your building and wash my clothes? I have quarters. He, she is completely taken aback by how different he looks. Um, what? Well, I, you know, I don't want to put on dirty clothes again now that I'm all clean. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Hold on. I'll be right back. Karma runs out the door and down the hall. She knocks on Logan's door. He opens it and Karma plows right in. Hey, what's up? You know homeless Alex? From outside? Yeah, he's in my apartment currently, naked. Holy shit, did he attack you? Did he expose himself? Wait, what? No. He was talking to me about the, the same shit you did the other day about the light workers and uh, I I don't know I just I felt something I and then I asked him if he wanted to take a shower at my place so he's in there now in my towel looking all shirtless and hot oh and side note he cut his hair and shaved he's like hot. Yeah. yeah, you said that twice already. He needs clothes, clean clothes. Give me something. Interior Karma's apartment soon after. Alex is wearing camouflage fatigue shorts and a black t-shirt with a dropkick Murphys on it. He's cutting tomatoes and has water boiling for pasta. Karma sits in shock watching him and drinking a glass of red wine. Hey, um, thank you for letting me cook for you. Uh-huh. No, I mean, it's the least I can do for this kindness. I, I feel like a new man. <laughs> you look like a new man. So, um, tell me your story. <laughs> what, like, okay, like, how the hell did I become homeless? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, what would you say if I told you that I wasn't really homeless? and that I actually was a wealthy heir with an endless fortune and that I chose to give it up to test myself and observe humanity. <laughs> I'd say that sounds like a fairy tale. Alex comes close to her and karma inhales sharply. And what if 
I was also searching for someone, like a special woman. Listen, I've watched you for a while now, Karma, and I've, I've seen what you do. Um, Alex, this is getting kind of weird. Yeah, Alex. yeah, forgive me. Oops. <laughs> um, listen, I just, I don't, I don't mean to scare you. She gets up close and takes a few steps before him, towards him. Um, just that I'm feeling something I haven't felt in a long time. Alex takes a few steps towards her. And I'm, I'm feeling something I've, I've never felt before. She hesitates and takes a step closer to Alex. Alex takes the last step towards her. He takes her face in his hands. She does not resist. He kisses her. They look at each other. She can't get hurt again. Listen, I, I would never hurt you. You're precious. They kiss again deeper. Cut to black. That's all for now. Woo! 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 Oh my gosh. Yay! Rasika, you are incredible. I mean, wow. You just like took it to a whole new level. Like I didn't even hear, it. I didn't intend some of those things that I saw. That was incredible. All of you guys were pitch perfect and spot on and just so incredible. Thank you so much, everyone. The work of Almeida, everybody. Yes. Great Fantastic. job. Fantastic. Great job. Hey, 